Okay, this gets a little tedious to do this by hand, but here's what's happening. This black curve is the graph of y equals e to the x minus 7. And we're supposed to calculate the area under the curve, uh, or in this case, above the curve under the x-axis, from the interval from 0 to 2. That means that the width of each little rectangle or subinterval will be 2 minus 0 divided by 4, because we're supposed to use 4 rectangles. Uh, so the width of each subinterval is 1 half. That's what these are right here. And then we're supposed to use the midpoint of each subinterval to calculate the height of the rectangle. So that's where uh, the midpoint of this first rectangle is the average of 0 and 0 0.5, 0 0.25. And I can put these others in here, 0 0.75, 1.25, 1 0.5, 1 0.75, 1 0.75. And right here, 1.75. And we plug those values into the original function to get the height of each rectangle. And that's what these numbers are right here. So if you plug 0.25 into the e to the x minus 7, that's what you get. <clears throat> and then if you take uh, this height times this width, you get the area of the first rectangle, or these are actually numbered 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so it's this column of numbers that you have to add up to get an estimate for the area uh, of that red region there. And if we go to board 2, there is the sum from i equals 0 to n minus 1 of those height times width, negative 7.677, blah, blah, blah. And this is actually the, ex the exact area, well, up to this many decimal places of that area. So you can see that uh, in a way that this, this is an overestimate. The absolute value of the estimated area is a little bit bigger than the actual area. Okay, I will include a link to the Desmos location where this graph was created and this table was created. There you go. Hope that helped. And if you have any questions, post a comment.